Well, hey there. This is the end of the week Friday fitness send off video. Um, I don't know about you, but I have had a crazy busy week and I just finished up one of my fitness certification tests and I passed. Woo! I'm so excited. Boy, I haven't taken a test in 30 years since college. So I was a little bit stressed about it. A um, couple things I want to talk to you about. The appointment setting program will be online by Sunday and I'll put the link on the Facebook page and I'll also send it out to you in an email. I'm just a bit behind because I've been studying and really focused on finishing up this certification because I've got another one right behind it. And um, one thing that I'm seeing from the comments and the messages I'm getting is, you know, I'm 53. I'll be 54 this year. And for those of you that don't know, I had a hysterectomy about, I want to say 16 months ago, almost Almost a year and a half ago, I think, it was the, the December 2013. So yeah, we're going on a year and a half. Um, my weight is back off. I had, I was loaded with fibroid tumors, so I look like I was literally six months pregnant. Um, the weight is off, but I am still dealing with the lower ab issue uh, because they cut me from one hip to the other. And I don't know how many of you have had a hysterectomy that that happened. They couldn't do the do it lapros, lapros, anyways, they couldn't do the three little incisions. I'm so tired, I'm not even gonna attempt to say that word right now. You know what I'm talking about, um, where they do the three incisions and they just pull it out. That wasn't happening. That was what they tried to do, but my uterus was so enlarged and so full of fibroid tumors that it just wasn't happening. Anyways, the moral of the story is it's going on 18 months for me. Yes, my weight is back down. No, my lower abs are not where they're supposed to be. Well. Actually, let me say not where they're supposed to be, not where I personally want them to be. And over 40, you know, late 30s, over 40s, you start dealing with the hormones and the transitions. And this is my dog coming in to see me. You can't see him, but it's Pongo, my Dalmatian. Um, but your body starts changing. And what thing I want to tell you right now is before you get upset about your stomach or your butt or your legs or whatever it may be, how do you feel? Okay. I feel amazing. You see, fitness is not just about the package. It's not about what you see here. Fitness is overall, how do you feel? How healthy are you? I feel amazing. You know, going into my mid fifties, I'm going to start training for another triathlon the end of summer. Coach Becky is getting ready to do a bodybuilding competition 20 years after her last one. Age is just a number. But you need to take care of yourself, and taking care of yourself and your health is not just about how you look. It's about the inside as much as it's the outside, okay? So keep that in mind as you go into the weekend, and I'm going to give you the reminders. Eat clean, which means eat real food. Try to stay on track at 70 to 80% of the weekend. It gives you some wiggle room. Exercise. If you don't have a Fitbit. I can really tell you this thing is amazing for me. It keeps me on track. I make sure I get my 10,000 steps every day. Something to consider or a pedometer. And if you haven't been exercising, just get up and take a walk this weekend. Okay? Um, like I said, the appointment schedule schedule program will be on by the weekend, by Sunday. And oh, the five-day clean eating starts on Monday morning. If you haven't registered, you still got a day to do that. And that's it. Have a wonderful weekend. Believe in yourself. Bye.